If you consider a big ball and call it Earth, and if you uh, consider a small ball, call it Moon, what do you call this vector? Well, well that's the force of the moon. Earth on the Moon gravitationally. The moon doesn't fall and collide with the Earth is because the Moon is orbiting circular. However, there is another force which is 180 degree opposite from the center. Well, that depends what reference ring you're in. Centrifugal no, no, uh, force. No, yeah, centrifugal force. Well, the centrifugal force only exists in a rotating reference ring. Explanation uh, of why it doesn't crash. Over R, and they are equal in magnitude opposite in direction. Therefore, what happened? Our, our moon doesn't fall on the R. Well, yeah, but that force only exists in some reference frames. Can that I show you the simplest reason why? Why? Okay. Let's say you are about to fall into a pit of spikes. So you are currently falling downward. Then, you move perpendicularly. What happens? You are no longer falling on the pit of spikes. You've dodged it. Just like that, the moon is currently falling towards the Earth. But, while it's falling, it's also constantly dodging the Earth. And so it moves this way. And so, while it's falling this way, it's constantly dodging the Earth, which moves it this way. And while it's falling, it's dodging the Earth. So the moon is stuck in a wow, cycle that's dodging a good explanation. over and over that keeps it stuck in an orbit. This is from the perspective of who? Someone is standing on the moon or someone is standing on the Earth? On the Earth. 